Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with meteorologist Mark Dixon. All right, we've been talking about two rounds of rain for the week. One is behind us. Another one will be arriving uh, later tomorrow night into Thursday. And between now and then, we've got some really nice weather uh, to enjoy across the state. Temperatures currently here in the noon hour range from the lower and mid-60s in the northwest hills to 70 or better along the shoreline. 69 right now in Hartford, 72 for New Haven. And we do have this northwesterly breeze uh, indicating, of course, the front has come through. And this is going to be filtering in some drier air. And that wind is going to be up today. So this is sustained right now, 50 to 20 miles now hour some gusts higher than that as we head through uh, the afternoon and dew point values are on their way down earlier today they were well up in the 60s now we're in the lower 50s in the northwest hills and say between 55 and 60 for coastal and uh, southeastern portions of the state so the cloud cover is breaking up it is a process that will continue through the afternoon from west to east so we'll eventually become mostly sunny there's our view from Torrington you can see some patches of blue a little bit of a brighter scene also coming in from Hartford as we head into New Haven as well uh, some breaks there uh, with the trees casting some shadows on the green in the Elm City, but a little bit of a cloudier scene here in New London. So again, from west to east, we'll see the cloud cover uh, break up. But uh, of course, early warning pinpoint Doppler, it is scanning clear and dry, and it will do so all the way until, say, early Thursday morning. So there's the storm system making its way through New England right now, beginning to clear the Cape and the island, still raining up across Maine. Uh, but we do have the back edge of the cloud cover uh, that's breaking up uh, as it heads from west to east, uh, working its way into western Connecticut. So as we look at the big view, high pressure builds in for tomorrow. That means a bit of a calmer wind, but ample sunshine, low levels of humidity and very nice temperatures. So here is a look at future cast with regard to dew point. Uh, again, earlier today we were in the 60s. We're now in the 50s and they will continue their downward progression. So the air continues to dry out, setting the stage for again a beautiful Wednesday. Tomorrow dew point values uh, with ample sunshine in the 30s and 40s. So not even going to show you the traditional future cast for tomorrow because it would just be a clear sky for us uh, with uh, ample sunshine, but we'll start future cast with regard to the clouds and the rain tomorrow night at 7 p.m. We'll see an increase in cloud cover tomorrow evening, dry through 11 o'clock, and it's around daybreak and around the morning commute on Thursday that rain will begin to overspread the state and points thereafter. So periods of rain, a bit of a soggy Thursday, maybe even some heavier downpours and the potential for a few rumbles of thunder. So on our seven day forecast with the clouds and the rain that we're expecting on Thursday, instead of being close to 80, like we're forecasting for tomorrow, we'll be in the mid and upper 60s. Then for Friday, uh, a breezy end of the week, I think primarily dry. There's some indications there may be an, uh, like an instability type shower for the end of the week, but uh, primarily dry sun and clouds, mid 70s and breezy. Then the upcoming weekend still looks great on Saturday, and we're still looking at, at least the chance for some rain, maybe a thunderstorm later Sunday for Father's Day. But by no means is it a washout for uh, for, for dad. So and, okay. and temperatures over the weekend, not not bad, seasonable uh, here across southern New England. Yeah, so. a nice city.